Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you a bunch of really awesome, super easy things that you can make using either sheet music, book pages, encyclopedia or dictionary pages, uh, old reader's digest pages, um, they could be brand spanking new or they could be vintage. And um, anyways, I think you're gonna really like some of these ideas and some of these will explore as a video tutorial of their own. But I, what I want to show you first is just a little example of different things that you can do. That was a crest and crafting. This was too, I think, these little country churches. These were both Mod Podge. This was Easter about five years ago. And that's a plastic egg that has book pages. Um, book pages mod podge on it. This right here was an accordion Christmas tree. Um, this was a decoupage on a book stack. I guess it goes that way. But the two things we're going to do is, number one, I'm going to show you a fun way to make tassels using uh, champagne corks and book pages. And then the next thing we're going to do after that is I'm going to just show you how to make some of these little um, rolls. Uh, and how this came about, well, I've been, I have been a lover of book pages and this kind of thing forever. And I was at Queen of Hearts, and I saw a pretty basket with a bunch of, um, like, old postcards in it and a bunch of rolled up book pages. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have these all over my house in different crafts, and I'm just going to get them out and show them to you guys. You don't have to be a brain surgeon to do any of this, but you can jazz them up in different ways. Like, this one has some little silver ribbon on it and then a little kind of sparkly sprig. This is sitting on the, um, the buffet on the very top of it in my dining room. Um, this one is also up there. And on this one, I used little bits of lace and some little dried flowers. And then this one, this was part of my Christmas decor last year, and it has a stencil on it that says Noel, which is hard to see, that I used my favorite glitter in the whole wide world, this Sue Lin Extra Fine Sterling Glitter from Walmart. We're going to use some of that today. And um, I did a stencil with a glittering kind of chalk paste, and then I poured the glitter over the top of it. really pretty and then I'm going to show you how I did these I didn't do every single one I did just a few and I used some jute to tie these together okay so let me clear a little space on my desk so that we can craft all right and let's start with the wine cork I have not taught this in a very long time these are super easy you're going to need, um, these are champagne corks actually. They work best, but you can use a wine cork too if you want. And um, we're going to make a tassel. Okay, so what I did was, and I have all different kinds of music. This is music literature, and um, so it was somebody's lesson book, and the teacher obviously has scribbled all over it instructions. This was John Baptiste. Air Band Complete Conservatory Method for Trumpet. What I like about this one is that the pages are more white. Um, this one, these are not, this is not sheet music. This is a dictionary page, which works well as well. All of these things came from my local Goodwill. Uh, you can also use old uh, hymnals or just old sheet music. We're not gonna use this today, this is kind of fragile. So I'm gonna show you, I'll show you with this one. 
Okay, this is one piece. Actually, I'm going to show you with this because I need more than one piece. Well, let's do this. Let me get some more pieces out. This uh, book actually has perforations so that you can tear your pages out. Uh, anyways, this is totally my kind of a craft because it's almost free. And it's just different. And why would I go to an uh, antique mall and pay a dollar per little roll? I'd be nuts to do that when I can make that so easy. I'm going to have a little trick that involves <laughs> rubber bands. These happen to be the rubber bands that one of my two boys had when they had braces. Um, okay, so when I am making this little wine cork tassel, first thing I like to do is I like to cut the margins off because they're not decorative and they don't add anything. And they don't have to be perfectly straight. Those are not straight at all. I think the fact that this teacher, this music teacher, put her little notes and pencil on here, give this some extra charm. Okay, and then I'm going to trim this side off so it's snug. And we're going to figure out what is half of this. To do that, I'm just going to fold it in half. That will give me a whole bunch of pieces of paper. What are we going to do with them? Well, you could cut each one of these individually, but to me that makes no sense. I'm going to cut a stack of three or four all at once. And I'm just cutting some little slits that go almost up to the top. You can do them however wide you want, whatever appeals to you. This is a great project to be working on when you are watching TV or something, because you can get a lot of um, your, your paper ready to go. And um, I have used these on my Christmas tree. I'm considering how I could reinterpret this idea for, whoops, well I cut all the way through that, but that's okay, I'll show you what, what you can do when you do that. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I could use something like this to create a tassel that looks beachy because I am thinking about doing a coastal Christmas. Okay, don't worry, we're not going to cut forever. We're almost done here. I won't cut this other stack. goes down right here. I'm going to put a bead of glue right there. And I'm just pulling my little sliced sheet music all the way up. And then I'm going to put some on my cork. And I'm just winding and scrunching it around. Uh, below that lump to the best of my abilities. And you want to look at your, is this one or two pieces? This is 
just one. You want to look at your um, your pieces and save the prettiest pieces for last. because they're, the, they're really the only ones that will show. I have not done these um, champagne cork and sheet music tassels in forever, but if you watched me here on DIY Dreaming, um, back when I was first getting started, uh, four-ish years ago, uh, you would have seen this idea several times because I was totally into this whole idea. So, and you can continue adding more and more and more layers until you reach whatever you think is your desired fatness of your tassel below. I'm going to put these two pieces on and then I'm going to say good. And I did not get um, any cup hooks out, but that is how I generally hang these. I'll just twist in a little cup hook into the top, and then I'll put some jute or, some, or lace or something in it to hang these. Okay. And I'm just going to finish this up. And I saved the prettiest piece, in my opinion. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? For last. And there we go. And then what I like to do is I like to take whatever... Uh, decorative thing I want, like we could do some of this lace. Let's try that. Or I could do bigger lace or burlap or, I mean, there's a lot of different things that you could do. I'm just gonna do some lace right here. And I'm basically just covering up this very top edge. Then I could add a, uh, a vintage button here or a piece of my bling. Let me grab something that might work and be super cute. Okay, and I'm going to show these tomorrow, but Totally Dazzled has some really fun packages of 10, um, 10 pieces of rhinestone doodads. In, they have a beach theme, they have a bees and butterflies theme, two of those. They have snowflakes, they have a lot of different ones. And I was just thinking that, there's a mermaid in here somewhere, unless I dropped her. Well, I'm going to use this one. So I'll include a link down below here uh, when I'm all finished with um, my totally dazzling. Yeah, that's going to be super cute. What do you guys think? Isn't that fun? A fun way to use this stuff. Um, you know, that costs hardly anything to do it. Okay, let, now let's talk about making rolls. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to cut the margins off because I don't want to see any of that. I'm not going to cut the top or the bottom off. And 
then you could roll a whole entire sheet. You're just gonna do, it doesn't matter if the back of it looks like this. You could roll a whole entire sheet. But here's my question. Let me just do this and then show you. The more you keep twisting it, the tighter that roll will get. But why use a whole piece of paper when you can cut it in half and achieve exactly the same thing? That was something I kind of figured out as I was going along. That you don't need a whole entire piece of paper. Okay. Then, once I get it rolled up however tight I want, you can use a rubber band. I'm using these little orthodontic rubber bands, which are perfect just to hold it there for a moment. And then I'm just gonna take some hot glue and do a quick little bead. Hold my roll together. And then we could, we could use some of this pretty lace. And I can put that right over the top of the rubber band. And tie a little bow. And Dollar Tree has the best little um, flowers that would look great poked in here. I'm going to try to just tie a bow. And you can put this as high or as low as you want. Let me show you another trick. Um, okay. So, you know, glitter comes in a zillion different colors. Let's see if I can get one of these open. This is Crafter Square. And it's glitter from Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you this. And then I'm going to show you another one. turn my fan off otherwise I might end up with glitter everywhere and um, it's July 2023 if you're watching this live this is a little early in the year <clears throat> for me to be crafting with glitter I usually wait to do that till fall Thanksgiving and Christmas but this is um, kind of a turquoisey color so it could be beachy uh, my other go-to is this I love this Sue Lynn Extra Fine Glitter. The color is called Sterling. It's like $5 and it lasts forever and it's from Walmart. <clears throat> okay. Okay, and notice. When I rolled it, I rolled it so that would be on the outside. Okay, I'm going to take a little rubber band. These are great because they totally disappear. <laughs> so much so that when I drop it, I can't find it. Okay, then I would do the first thing to just put a little bit of glue to hold the roll in so it's not trying to unroll. All right, and I'm 
going to leave that rubber band on it because you won't even be able to see it. And then I just like to use Mod Podge. That's the easiest. This is Mod Podge Matte probably from Walmart or something. You need to decide which end you want to dip. Do you want to dip the top or the bottom? And I'm going to dip the top. So I'm going to stick it in my Mod Podge. Get a good covering of it. And then I'm going to dip it in my glitter. off and that is what that looks like this is what the silver looks like isn't that cool okay let's do a silver and where do I want to put this I guess I'll just put it right there that you're using could seriously be if you have a, a child a teenager or a grandson or granddaughter that's in marching band in school um, they are gonna have these books you can use brand new sheet music uh, and it's gonna look great so it doesn't have to be anything fancy and then if you're one of those people which I know there's a lot of people like that out there that just really don't like to cut up books or sheet music, you can Google free printable book pages or hymnals or sheet music, however, whatever you want. You can, um, if you do the free stuff, then you can download it and then you can print it on computer paper and no books will have been harmed. Lena says she really likes the dipping of, um, of it into the glitter. Okay, so here's my trick. I hate to waste anything, even super inexpensive glitter. So always when I'm done with what I have just used, I will fold my paper plate in half and I will just tap it. To go right back in to my container. All right, let me get one for silver. I love this stuff. Oh my gosh, it's the best. Okay, let's glue our little tube so it's not wanting to unroll. And you can cut these shorter. They look great just kind of poking out of any type of container. You can obviously see that these are much shorter than these. Um, they look great out of glass hurricanes. They look great laying flat in a basket. Um, and you could go to an antique mall and pay a dollar per <laughs> little roll. Or you can find some inexpensive sheet music or book pages and make them yourself. What do you guys think? Do it this. That's a heart. Or this. But this is better. If you like this idea. Okay, so I'm going to just dip my thing in here. And I like a pretty wide band of glitter on mine. And then I'm going to dip it in my silver Sulin Extra Fine Sterling Glitter from Walmart. At one point, they were going to not carry this brand anymore, but I guess they still are. They didn't end up discontinuing it. So what do you guys think? And then, of course, you can put any kind of ribbon or, or lace or whatever you would like around the tummy or just um, just glue it down. I happen to have these uh, orthodontist, where are they? Rubber bands. Um, we must have had 
thousands of these in our house because I was just looking in the kitchen for like three minutes and I found some in the desk in the kitchen. Um, anyways, they, they blend. You can't hardly even see them. So that is what I wanted to show you, how to make a sheet music or book page tassel using a champagne cork. Uh, if you wanted your tassel to be shorter, you could cut your pages shorter. You could do, um, you know, really anything you want, any combination of lace or um, trim or ribbon. Uh, just You're just covering up the edge that looks messy. And then I'll, get, I'll dig out my cut hooks. They're here somewhere. And I would just twist it in the top. And then for this one, I would probably use some of this macrame cording that's this creamy color and just tie a little knot and I'd have a loop and we'd be all good to go. So tell me what you guys think. I know this is almost too simple to even, <laughs> even merit a video, but sometimes you just need a little idea and then you can totally run with it. And everybody has containers that need something to fill it up. And you can customize them with any color glitter that you would like or ribbon or whatnot. So I'm going to share later the picture of um, what I saw at Queen of Hearts that inspired me to do this. And um, I'm going to look through my pictures because I have made a ton of different banners that were so pretty that I hung um, over a, a rack that I have in my eating area in the kitchen that has just all white dishes. Um, and I used glitter and white sheet music and it was lovely. So I'm gonna look through my photos and try to pull out a bunch of projects that I've done using sheet music. It doesn't have to be fancy sheet music. You can find it at thrift stores. Ask your next door neighbor if you know they had a child in band or took piano or what whatnot. Most people, uh, if they had a child doing that, it could be xylophone, trombone, trumpet, piano, uh, you know, harp, flute, absolutely whatever. Um, they, they will still have some of it hanging around that they would be glad to give to you. You can also use encyclopedia pages, which this also came from Goodwill. So I just want to encourage you that it doesn't have to be anything fancy to achieve a really great look. And I will pull this back out at Christmas time. I'll dust it off. It's got a lot of fingerprints and dust on it. And um, anyways, I will get pictures of what we've got going on here. Don't hesitate to ask any questions that you might have. Feel free to sprinkle all that good stuff and be looking later for photos. Okay, see you guys later. Thanks for joining me.